the first step in cryopreservation uh, really is to know that it's available and we're constantly reaching out to try to educate the population about the necessity for cryopreservation, freezing of fertility tissues. Once we have the patient, um, from the sperm standpoint, a male would come in and donate a specimen, typically here in our facility, or they can do it at home and bring it in to our facility and we can work with it. Once we have the specimen, the specimen will typically be treated in various ways to purify it, clear out any impurities from the specimen, and then that allows us to move forward and uh, start to freeze the specimen. We use substances that help to stabilize the specimen for the freezing process. Also, we're taking a close look at the quality of the specimen, the quantity of numbers that are there, so that we know as that specimen what it will be useful for. Would it be insemination, or would it require the use of in vitro fertilization? This knowledge helps us to tell the the person how many specimens they should give us to adequately preserve their fertility status. Typically, if we have proper specimens, we can do inexpensive, uh, very cost-effective ways of trying to preserve fertility options.